and welcome back to another hotel review on the channel. I am at the TWA Hotel today. And yeah, I'm very excited. I've heard a lot of good things about this place. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's check out the TWA Hotel, which some even might call a blast from the past. Let's go. Hello and welcome from the TWA Hotel here in JFK Airport. What you're seeing in front of me is the Connie. It's a Lockheed Constellation converted into a bar. We will be checking that out later on tonight. But for now, let's check out the main hall of this wonderful hotel. So a bit of background. The main hall of the TWA Hotel is the original Terminal 5 building at JFK Airport, which was built in the 1960s. The building was designed by Ira Serenin, who was also involved in designing the main terminal for Dulles Airport in Washington, D.C., as well as the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, just to name a few. Alright, let's cut to the chase and head to our room for the night. Our room is located in the Hughes Wing of the TWA Hotel. The Hughes Wing is the southernmost building in the TWA Hotel complex. It also features the pretty popular rooftop pool as well as an observation deck, which is great for plane spotting. We will be checking that out later on in the video, so stay tuned. So, with the magic of editing, we have arrived at our room, room number 869. And with that out of the way, let's have a really quick room tour. Now this door normally leads to the room next door, however we didn't book two rooms for the night, so this door wasn't really used. Down here we have a TV remote as well as a really retro looking clock, and a mug filled with a bunch of TWA Hotel branded pencils. I will be keeping a lot of these for sure. We also have a huge TV and a pretty cool looking lamp. I found these beds to be quite comfy, and I got a pretty good night's sleep on these as well. Overall, a pretty decent room so far. Let's check out the lavatory now. I'm also happy to report that the bathroom was in clean and tip-top shape, and everything worked as expected. Here is the toilet. It was well stocked and it worked perfectly. And the shower, which was clean and also in perfect working order. At this point, I left my room to head downstairs to check out the Connie, which was the Lockheed Constellation plane that I mentioned earlier.
Now, from my room in the Hughes Wing to the Connie Cocktail Lounge is a bit out of the way. First, I have to pass the Sunken Lounge and the Connie's Story exhibit, as well as the World in 1962 exhibit. Then, I exit the door and walk onto the tarmac. I head under the Serenin Wing hallway. Past the runway rink, and finally, the Connie Cocktail Lounge comes into sight. Alright, let's take a seat and review the seats on board this Lockheed Constellation. Now, the seats have these old-fashioned window blinds, as well as being really well padded and quite comfortable. Keep in mind that this Lockheed Constellation has been converted into a bar, so there's traditional couches and bar stools for you to sit on, as well as these old retro plane chairs. So, I think it's time for some dinner, so let's head back inside and grab a bite to eat. Hello and good morning. After a good night's sleep, I'm out and about again, checking out the rest of the hotel's many, many facilities. The first stop on the list is the gym. While the gym had a lot to offer in the form of machines and amenities, it had a weird pungent smell, akin to something like a rotten McChicken. After the gym, I proceeded to check out Howard Hughes' office. As well as Eero Serenin's drafting table and his office as well.
Coincidentally, the two offices are located in the opposite wing, which can get quite confusing at times. Before heading to the rooftop pool, I decided to check out the gift shop. The gift shop here at the TWA Hotel has lots of memorabilia and merchandise that you can purchase. So, how was my experience at the TWA Hotel? Well, I had a great time. The room was great, and the whole hotel just felt like a time warp back to the 1950s and 60s, which was quite surreal. But would I recommend staying here? Maybe, if it fits your budget. This hotel was not cheap, with the bill for the room itself going at around $500. Now, keep in mind, I was traveling with my mom, dad, and dog which all added up to that price tag. But overall, I would recommend this hotel if you have an extended layover at JFK or you're just an av geek. But if you're going to stay, I would only recommend one night, as that pretty much covers everything you need to see, at least in my opinion. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I hope you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. This is the 4905 here, and I will see you next time. Take care.